Melissa Grayson here and I have a problem well I have lots of problems that you guys will start to learn about the more I get into these videos during this 60 day videos 60 days of deliberation but today's problem is with a lot of my moms you know I have gotten literally today I'm not joking literally today one day five phone calls five phone calls all from dads who say I want to see my child but my son or my daughter's mom won't allow me to so the first few questions that I ask are usually something along the lines of well what did you do why won't your child's mother allow you to see your child did you abuse your child did you neglect your child answer is always no but what did you do I won't give her money I don't have money to pay child support I'm late on my child support I made her mad she didn't like something I said nothing valid is usually given as an answer I have a serious serious problem with this because so many kids are being denied the right to have a relationship with their father and sometimes even with the mother if the father is a custodial parent or has just decided not to return the child but they're being denied the right to have their relationship with the other parent because or something didn't happen whether it be you know that they didn't pay child support or that they made the mom or dad mad or that whatever it happened is not related to the well-being of the child and regardless of whether child support is being paid the child still needs to be able to develop and continue to build a relationship with their mother or father regardless of whether he said something you didn't like called you something you didn't like or whatever it is that child still needs his or her father or his or her mother in their life I get it I get it when you get so upset that you are just like forget it I'm not doing this anymore I'm cutting all ties but that's not the right way to go about it if there are recurring instances that are happening such as you know there's a lot of verbal fighting going on between you and the other parent and it's causing a lot of ruckus in your life and even for your child the solution is not to just cut off sever their relationship with that other parent the child does not care that your child's other parent called you the B word or some other word they don't care the child does not care that their dad or their mom but their dad didn't pay child support they don't care they don't care about that kind of stuff the only thing that they care about is their relationship with daddy or mommy and them being denied the right to have that relationship that upbringing that guidance everything that comes along with parenting just because you're mad just because the dad lost his job and is unable to pay child support just because the mom had some unexpected expenses and was unable to pay child support I, I just have a problem with that and it happens more so from my ladies 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 it's happening more with you I get a lot of calls from guys and we, we have to stop 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 it's not fair to your child it's not fair to the father or the mother if you want to do something about these things that are occurring that is what the court system is for you cutting off the ties just because you made that decision because you're upset is not the solution that is going to be in the best interest of your child your child is not a pawn your child cannot be used just because you're mad you don't use your child as a tool to get back at the other parent so 
let me tell you something about me. A lot of my female clients and my male clients, my clients, period, they tend to get upset with me because I keep it 100% real at all times. If you're wrong, please believe Marissa is going to let you know that you're wrong. Whether you like it or not, she's going to make suggestions to you. And she ain't about to have no clients out here acting a fool with their other parent just because that's what they want to do. And if she does, she gets rid of them. I haven't had to do that yet. Because my clients listen to me because I keep it real. If I have a mom who is being unreasonable, I say, look, you are being unreasonable. I understand you're upset, but this is what it is. Let's figure out a solution. But this one is not the solution. And they may get upset with me at first, but eventually they come back and say, you know what, you were right. Or you know what, I should have listened. Or you know what, Marissa, thank you. So everything that I come to you with here through these videos is all out of love. Sometimes I'm riled up because I am very, very passionate, especially you'll notice my videos about family. I do not play when it comes to family. I don't play when it comes to marriage, when it comes to parenting, when it comes to co-parenting, when it comes to anything related to family because family is so essential in life these days because there's so much going on and I just hate to see how so many people for whatever reasons there are are just letting circumstances attitudes and all of these other non-factors influence the concept of being a family even a divided family so with that being said next time you decide that you're angry at your child's father or your child's mother before you just decide to sever ties and just cut them off think about your child and what's best for them if you need to handle it handle it through the court system don't take it out on your child for more tips tidbits information on family divided families please don't forget to get my new book the business of co-parenting this one is specifically for single moms. Fellas, the book is coming for you soon. Peace, love, I will talk to you all soon.